Um, so good afternoon and thank you so much for being here to help us celebrate this artwork that's on loan to us from the National Museum of the American Sailor at Naval Station Great Lakes. I'm joined by fellow members of the county board, Vice Chair Cunningham, Member Roberts, Member Hunter, other countywide elected officials, judges, and some special guests who will also be speaking today. Captain Jason J. Williamson, commanding officer at Naval Station Great Lakes, and Dr. Jennifer Searcy, director of the National Museum of the American Sailor. The loan of this painting really demonstrates the strong partnership between Lake County and Naval Station Great Lakes. For over 100 years, Lake County has been the home to Naval Station Great Lakes. And as many of us enjoy telling our friends and family from around the globe, every sailor who has been enlisted since the mid-1990s started their naval service right here in Lake County. The brave men and women at Naval Station Great Lakes are providing the ultimate service, serving our country. But as residents of Lake County, they are also generously giving their time through their community service here, volunteering many hours at schools and nonprofits, whether it's cutting down buckthorn in our forest preserves or helping with food banks, especially during this pandemic. Naval Station Great Lakes also helps our economy too. The base brings an estimated $1.1 billion to Illinois' domestic, yearly gross domestic product. They provide a big boost to tourism as thousands of sailors and civilian staff, newly, newly graduated recruits and their families explore all the wonderful attractions our county has to offer. They also open their doors to residents. Many youth groups schedule visits on the base and they've generously hosted incredible events including the 4th of July celebration, December holiday concert, and Pearl Harbor commemoration. But with all of that aside, I think the greatest honor for us to be home to Naval Station Great Lakes is that it helps ensure that our military service men and women and their families are never far from our thoughts and our hearts. At this time, when people are pulled in so many different directions, and when it feels like we couldn't be more busy, we must remember that there are people who are serving overseas in oftentimes dangerous situations, far from their own friends and family, who are separated from them. And they're doing this because they love their country, and they want to make a difference in the world and to be of service. And so having them here keeps us focused on things that are greater than ourselves. Having this magnificent painting, by the way, it was uh, by a Lake County artist, but right here in our building for residents and employees to see every day also helps us achieve that. I'd like to now invite Captain James Jason J. Williamson, commanding officer at Naval Station Great Lakes, to the podium to say a few words. Thank you very much uh, for having us up here. This is the second time we've been here, and every time uh, we're here, we meet someone new that is part of the Navy family or has been part of the Navy family. We have at least three uh, former officers that uh, served at Great Lakes, and I just happen to be the one that's there right now. But uh, to the Navy uh, uh, League folks that are here, thank you for being part of this, because that's uh, really what the museum does for us, and this is a, a representation of a lot of that heritage that we're very proud of at Naval Station Great Lakes, whether it's the, the, the history on every uh, Friday as moms and dads and aunts and uncles and grandparents come and witness graduation, we're back uh, to graduations. Although at a limited scale, uh, you are seeing those families here and, and making those memories and those memories here in Lake County. So I thank you for that. Uh, I thank you on behalf of the over 20,000 people that uh, come onto our post every day and, and call it uh, their home, their place of work. We couldn't do it with all the support from the munis municipalities and the county. Um, we always know that uh, when we have concerns or we have something that we need addressed, uh, it's a phone call away and haven't had a single instance where uh, that support wasn't there. Uh, I'll, I'll save a lot of the history uh, for, the, for, for the dedicated staff we have there, but I'll just give you an example. This last Friday we had a graduation uh, it was taking us longer to get the recruits over, and the volunteers and the staff, they kept the museum open, they kept the families uh, with, a, with a roof over their head, a place to uh, wait for their sailors. 
because it's about those reunions when they get to have that uh, liberty afterwards. So thank you for that in public. Um, and look forward to more events on the installation to come. And I was talking with uh, Judge Smith about First Fridays and, and getting members of our community back onto the base to interact with all the leadership that we have there. We're waiting, we're ready. I would say uh, those tracking Lake County numbers, we're doing, we're doing well. We're, we're seeing that curve come around. So ready to open again. So that's all I had and thank you very much. So first of all, thank you all for coming today to the unveiling of uh, this mural called London Pool by the artist Buell Mullen. Um, I'd also like to thank the Lake County uh, government for supporting this loan. And I really want to extend my heartfelt gratitude to anyone who was involved with moving a 600 pound painting. Um, it, it's quite large as you can see. Uh, and also to our staff who, who've cared for this thing amazingly and have taken care of it. Um, for those of you who work in this building or you come by on a regular basis, you're probably wondering yourself, what is this thing? Why is there a picture uh, or a painting here of, of London in the, the lobby of the, this Lake County building? But Buell Mullins London Pool, it really symbolizes several aspects of, of Lake County history. And I'm just going to touch on three of those today that hopefully you can take with you. Uh, first is the relationship between Lake County and Naval Station Great Lakes, which the earlier speakers touched upon. Um, this painting was painted in 1940. Um, it was commissioned by the United States Naval Academy, uh, and the purpose of it was to hang in the midshipmen's mess hall. Um, basically, whenever a midshipman was eating lunch, this is what that they were looking at. Um, but the mural was, was not just decoration, but it was to serve as a constant reminder to those service members that even though you're training in Annapolis, you really are dedicated to the global stage. You're part of a global force, you work for the larger global community. Um, and there's a tie with that, with Great Lakes, uh, just as it was 100 year, or over 100 years ago when the base was opened in 1911. Um, every sailor in the Navy gets their start at Great Lakes. They serve on a larger global stage. They are global servants. Um, and all of those careers start here at Lake County. They will go off and they will serve the world and they will also see the world. Second, there, there's a relationship, um, there's a long history of Lake County fostering you know, the cultural arts. Uh, in particular, to talk a little bit about this artist, of this painting, um, it was painted by a female artist named Frances Buell Mullen. Um, you'll hear us talk, she's better known as Buell Mullen. Um, Mullen was originally from Chicago, but she resided most of her life in Lake County. She was formally trained in Europe as a muralist, but at the same time, she never really let go of her Lake County ties. Um, she lived most of her later life in Lake County, and she actually passed away in 1986 in Riverwoods. Um, throughout her career, Mullen, uh, she exhibited at the Library of Congress. Uh, she, her paintings were, were seen at the Art Institute. Um, she actually served as a UN ambassador um, for, for UNESCO during the 1970s while she was living in Lake County. So she was a very, very prominently known, but she never sort of separated those ties. This was her home. Um, she also uh, participated in the Lake County um, the Arts Councils. Um, she did work with the North Shore Arts League, and she participated in numerous community arts contests and juried exhibitions. So, you know, she was a central sort of focus. Um, and she also did some murals. Those of you who are familiar with Naval Station Great Lakes, and if you've been to Ross Theater, there are some very, very large stainless steel murals when you come into the center of that building, and those were her works as well, too. Um, so she sort of made it a, a passion to, and, a, and a focus to continue to maintain those ties and make sure that her own work was, was exhibited in her own community. And finally, I think what's most interesting about this painting in Buell Mullen is she, there's a tie between Lake County scientific and technological advancement and the work that she did. Um, she was a female artist and she worked on a really difficult medium. I mean, it's shiny stainless steel. Those of you who have ever tried to ride on metal or get anything on metal, it is darn near impossible. She spent over 10 years working with Lake County businesses, um, basically stainless steel um, workers, manufacturers, to come up with a process on how to do this. Um, and eventually, after a lot of experimentation, uh, she ended up coming up with this process of using etching, using acid, using epoxy resins, using sanders, to be able to get it to where the art actually is embedded in the metal. Um, it, it's not coming off, or at least not to chance. Um, and she did that all here in, in Lake County, coming up with that method. 
Um, during the 1970s, uh, Mullen actually went on to become the president of the American Muralist Society. And all of those things that she invented in Lake County, those techniques, she took that and spread that to the world. And you know, her techniques are techniques that are still used today. Um, this painting has been, it was at the Naval Academy, it's not been seen by the public uh, for most of the later half of the, the 20th century. And we are extremely happy, uh, Navy, is to one, get it back out to the public, but really get it to a place where we thought that it truly belonged in. Um, and just to throw it in the side, we actually have an accompanying piece of Hong Kong that if anyone is looking for uh, a place for a 600 pound mural, we can try to help you out with that. Um, but once again, uh, on behalf of the museum, thank you very much for everyone who supported this loan, uh, who helped us get it out here. And we think it's in the perfect place and we think that Buell Mullen would be happy with that as well too. Thank you. So as Lake County staff and residents walk through this area, I hope they'll look at this painting and be reminded of the service and sacrifice of those who've served all over the world, not just in the Navy, but in other branches of the armed forces. I hope they'll feel a sense of pride as I know we all do, that every one of today's enlisted sailors started their Navy career right here in Lake County. Thank you again so much for being here. We welcome you to view the painting and to reflect upon that service. Thank you.